Islam. The nature and power of the law, the master, the spiritual insight, and perceiving of all truth. I rise to give all praises due to Allah, and I give honor to his holy and illustrious prophets, messengers, gods, apostles, and angels, and trainers. We here now in North Carolina at the fulfilled kingdom, a kingdom fulfilling ministries. And I'm here with my brother, Navi Bay. Please. He brought me out here to North Carolina so I could see the sights, speak to a few people, and build, and particularly so that we could see, you know, a few pieces of interesting property that were in the area, you know, scope them out, and see what we could do for the Asiatics in North America as far as the uh, capacities of uplifting, and, of course, you know, dealing with that power of refinement, which is the constant making ourselves better via attaining power. And um, power is acquired in many ways, in a multitude of ways, and one of those is, of course, the attainment of knowledge. And so to attain knowledge, one must go to a place or an institution so that they may study and they may learn. So Kingdom Fulfillment Ministries has this wonderful space here. Where people can sit and learn on a variation of topics. And various topics would be that of including, of course, nationality, the application of government principles, politics, political science, law, basic civics, of course, a few pieces of technology here and there, business, economics, both micro and macro. And we have a theological teacher in the angel training core as well, where we deal with a variety of universal teachings dealing from uh, Supreme Wisdom Lessons from Master Farah Muhammad and the Nation of Islam, you know, the Holy Quran, dealing with Noble Jew Ali and teachings of the Morris Science Temple of America. We also deal with the teachings of you know, various Rastafarian orders, various camps of the Israelite nations. We deal with the comedic sciences as well. And we also teach the various political ideologies that have been expressed in American culture, such as that of the Black Panther Party, or that of the New Africa Movement, and ETC. Now, of course, we support the movement of Marcus Garvey and his uh, flag of the Black Star Line, red, black, and green. So here we can come and build on the various denominations, or even be non-denominational. You know, when we say here we build. Nationality is the order of the day. You see, nationality determines your political status, but it's a lot deeper than that. You see, nationality can be taken on a physical level, but it also has to be understood to be in a spiritual level as well as a solar level of dealing with your soul. You see, because man is not the body nor the, or the soul, he's a spirit. And being that part of a law, we have to know what it is to be that spirit man in flesh, and knowing the difference between our higher self, that which is spirit and all over self, that which is carnal, that which is flesh, that which is, you know, reversed by the murky ethers of the flesh. You know, we know that being Moorish American means to be part of the Moorish nation in America, but nationality is that quality of character that arises from the fact of a person belonging to a nation or a state. You know, to be a Moor, you got to act like a Moor. How do you act? Moors have acting principles to stand on. Love, truth, peace, freedom, and justice. So it's not just about knowing who you are, you know, knowing what it is, but knowing how to be it. We need to learn how to love. How to tell the truth, we've been lying for so long, we need to know how to be peaceful because we've been at war with each other and ourselves and the enemy for so long. Sometimes we have friendly fire amongst ourselves because we don't even know who the enemy is at times. Mm -hmm. At times the ma our main enemy is ourselves, but we don't know that because we don't exercise freedom. We become slaves to mental death and power. We don't know who the living God is, nor our origin in this world, so of course we're going to be bound to our lower self, to our carnal desires, not knowing who we are or how to act like it. And of course, we'll never give ourselves that justice that we require. So we need to know that if we're going to give justice to ourselves, 
October 10, 2015, Farrakhan says, Justice or else? I say, how dare you ask someone for justice without first bringing justice to your own self? We can't go and ask for another man to provide us justice. We need to start with loving ourselves, because if we loved ourselves, we wouldn't be committing the injustices against each other that we are today. Now that be half a life. You know, 25, 30 people here, whatever. I'm saying, but anyway, so I was looking at this portion right here, and I was thinking, Asiatics, you know, for the most part, we have terrible diets. You know what I'm saying? We eat horrible. And this looks like a bar. So I was like, you know, we could come here with the detoxes, the herbal drinks, you know, a few juices in the back or whatever. Because, you know, it's a religious organization, so we don't really require, you know, anybody to regulate what we do, <laughs> members of our communal society, our nation, our association, our people, our thought expression. And so, you know, I was like, in order to continue to uh, inspire that thought, we give people food and drinks that will cultivate their minds so that they can continue to, you know, do what it is that they do best, which is think, and therefore save themselves. So, you know, I'm thinking this right here is a wonderful spot to have all, you know, little lounge spots or whatever people want to come through. They need to just chill, relax, build. They need somewhere to go. We can have a little spot for them to build every, you know, other weekend to keep them out of trouble. We have a little party or something. You know what I'm saying? Alcohol free and drug free. We just have, you know, the alternative, good information, some high science, some good food to eat, Asiatic stuff to eat. You know what I'm saying? Most Asiatics to take some food over that blunt, man. You know what I'm saying? Oh, yeah. How are we going to get that food we talking about? Right? <laughs> uh, yeah, come on. Not really a garden or nothing, but if you are, <laughs> there's no excuses now. What you talking about, look? ample parking, unlike New York. <laughs> you know? So of course, that's what we're going to be growing that food, you know what I'm saying? With your help, you know? Definitely, let me take you to uh, where we're going to be preparing it, too. Because of course, we need the hot foods, man. Asiatics need a hot meal, man. Nah, come on. Some of the nicest bathroom. <laughs> Crazy. Look, look at this mirror. This mirror is wavy. Crazy. Look. Who's bugging? What? 
Facilitation so that we can continue to, you know, keep this here nice, beautiful, welcoming, fantastic looking. Definitely help us with, you know, getting the food prepared here, getting our stove, you understand? And ultimately, what the uh, owner of the establishment wants to do is make this a shelter for transitioning people who would like to make their way towards self sufficiency. So how can somebody come through and not be self-sufficient if they got to worry about good food always being in the area, good information always being dispensed and distributed for their benefit and preservation? It's impossible for us to fail in this mission. So, you know, I guess if you want your props with the great one, you know what I'm saying, do your thing. Because we doing ours, that's why we're here, waiting on you. Peace. 